Here it is. Here it is. Lunch. Late lunch. And it's going down, y'all. It is really going down. Felt like something different today. Something I ain't had in a minute. And so, uh, I put some of this on it for flavor. What I'm eating is full of flavor. It good. Mukbang, mukbang. I'm doing a busy bee pastrami with pickles and mustard. Busy B on Walker and 25th. It's going down. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Uh, it was just swimming in juice. I had them keep it in that juice for like 20 minutes. They didn't want to do it. What they normally do is they get the meat. It's cooked, but they'll just throw it in the juice, swirl it around for about 20 seconds and then put it on your bun. I said, no, keep mine in there for about 15 minutes. Cook that stuff. You understand? Anyway, it's going down. Now I'm about to taste it. <laughs> I'm going in. I'm going in. Ready? You know what, y'all? Here we go. Mm. Mm. That is so delicious. That's incredible. Get rid of some of this bread. See, that's perfectly cooked pastrami. When you go to Busy Bee, don't let them tell you that meat is done unless it's been sitting in that juice for at least 10 minutes. Simmer, getting tender. You understand? That meat got to be tender. The last few times I had a pastrami sandwich from Busy Bee, that meat was tough and I couldn't eat it. So make sure you swirl it around in that juice for about a good 10 minutes at the very least. Look at that. Nice and tender. Mmm. I know I give Busy Bee a hard time with some of their sandwiches. I'm a critic. And I will tell you if your stuff ain't right. Like tuna sandwiches. You don't go to Busy Bee for a tuna sandwich. You go to Busy Bee for a pastrami, meatball, Sausage and and a chicken sandwich. Chicken. Mm, so good. What y'all's lunch looking like? What y'all what y'all muck banging on? All right, y'all. Deuces.